Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, family business. Sustaining a business from one generation to the next is no small task. Just over 30% of family-owned businesses survive into the second generation. Only 12% make it to the third. And those lasting to the fourth and beyond, just 3%. Families that have survived for 250 years, there are two main components that go into that longevity. It's the strong family emotional connections and positive family emotional connections and a strong emotional attachment and pride in the business. If those two elements aren't there, it's much harder to keep the family connected and together uh, over a long period of time. The process of popping corn is very simple. Seed Creators and Company is one of the Chicago companies in that 3% who have survived to the fourth generation. It's now in its fifth. Andrew Creators' great-great-grandfather invented the popcorn machine, and Creators now makes several types of concession and food service equipment at its factory on the city's north side. Andrew joined the company 13 years ago as a computer network administrator, then worked in sales and operations before being named president four years ago. He worked outside the company first, as his father required, but never considered another career. My brother and sister and I, we all, sh all share a, a deep emotional attachment to the company. So, um, so there's a real desire for us to see the, see the company continue, and, um, and I think that provides a motivational force as well. Andrew Creters inherited the corner office faster than he initially expected, and looking back, he says it would have been better to relay succession plans earlier in the process. I was forced to grow a little more quickly than I guess I was comfortable in doing. Andrew Creters says he is lucky his father has been there to help him take the reins and tackle problems for which there's little or no precedent. Forty percent of Creators machines are shipped overseas, whether they are for movie theaters or food manufacturers. And when asked about his family business's staying power through booms and busts, Charlie Creter says this mantra has worked for him. I work for the business, uh, for the company. A lot of people don't. They begin to think this is my company. They think it's my checkbook and it's all my stuff. It's not. You work for the company and you're as replaceable as anybody. And if you have that sort of an attitude, you'll be fine. Creators will celebrate its 125th anniversary next week with a gala at the Museum of Science and Industry. Well, that's all for this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out this week's focus section in the print edition of Cranes or on ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.